Hello, this is Chris Ryan at MIMS Software, and let's learn how to break through your biggest InDesign production bottlenecks. Let's look at a typical newspaper spread with a story on the San Diego beaches with the, dot, with the graphics already in place. And we place that uh, source document, Word document. Then we go through and assign all the styles, uh, the heads, decks, bylines, uh, body style, uh, subheads, directions, and so on. Then we'll fix a couple of typos here that we spotted, um, and then do some quick typographic uh, refinement, and then some direction uh, consistency editing. And so then with that, we're all done and ready for press. Now, the problem is that typically people decide to make last minute changes. And sure enough, our editor decides that she needs some story changes made that are critical. So uh, here she is in Word, changing the heading, the byline, fixing some grammatical problems, uh, some you know simple uh, capitalization, deleting extra words, fixing some run-on sentences, and adding a little bit to the directions. So here's the problem, and she's done. What do we do with those changes? Well. We could either just blow it away, what we've done, and start over again. Well, I won't take you through that because it's kind of boring. Or we could go through a word uh, difference uh, compare, word document compare, and again, manually make the changes we see in that word document compare. Or we could look at a PDF markup and again, manually go through and make all the fixes we find there. But let's do something different here and break that bottleneck and let's use, uh, download and use the WordsFlow plugin for InDesign. We just installed it. It just takes a few seconds to get going. And then if we open the same document, let's start over from scratch as if we never had to do that extra work. And this time we're going to place with WordsFlow, which gives us, once we're done, uh, it's a normal word place uh, from the same document. And uh, when that comes in, we have a, a live link now. It shows up our links panel to that document. So then once we go through and do all the same formatting, this time a little more quickly because it's kind of boring, but it still would take several minutes to do this. Uh, and then the, edit, the editor goes through again, makes her changes. But this time when she saves, we have a, a link that's marked as changed. If we double click that link, we get a magic merge of her changes into our existing story and nothing's lost on either side. All those production changes came, uh, were left alone and the editorial changes came in. Now let's see what happens after each merge update, how to find out what actually changed. It's actually very simple. We open the story editor to see what changed and uh, our changes are marked uh, you know, in, in orange, and the word editor's changes are marked in green in this case. And also, if we are there, if there are conflicts on that merge, let's say that uh, one side changes the, uh, out, the beach description to outstanding, and the other side to excellent. When we then come back and to InDesign and update that, we get a conflict, and we can see that there's a note left there. Uh, and the note itself, of course, we can look at separately. And tells us about the conflict alert. But what we can do here is simply edit and choose which one we want. Um, I'm just retyping here, but we can always just delete the extra word. So what we've learned here is how to use WordsFlow to break that production bottleneck uh, and docs flow for Google Docs. Thank you for your time.